is uh, William Oravan. Uh, I'm a urologist and I'm the medical director for Maple Leaf Haifu. I think that ablotherm is a very safe uh, treatment for patients to consider. The side effects of uh, ablotherm haifu are twofold. Uh, one is that because it's a heat injury, the urethra is essentially swollen shut for two weeks, and that is why we ask patients to have an indwelling urethral catheter for two weeks to drain the bladder. When the catheter is removed at two weeks, the swelling has gone down enough in six out of ten patients that they can urinate normally. The obverse of that is that in four of ten, there's still too much swelling and the catheter may be reinserted for another seven to ten days. So delayed return to normal voiding is one risk with ablotherm haifu. The second risk is of scar formation. Scars happen post-surgery, they happen post-radiation, and they happen post-haifu. It's like when you cut your skin, usually it heals up nice and smooth. Sometimes you get a hypertrophic scar, uh, which you can feel and see. If this happens in the urethra, in the area of the prostate, it can produce a narrowing or a stricture. This can impede bladder emptying, reduce urine flow, and may require your urologist to look inside to stretch this up or even use a small instrument called a urethrotome to cut it open. It's not a major problem, but it does occur in about one in five or one in six of our patients, sort of 18 or 19 percent. Uh, it's readily diagnosable and as I indicated, uh, quite easily treatable, uh, but it is a side effect that one should be aware of with HIFU. Other than that, we have had no significant short-term or long-term complications with ablotherm HIFU. Treatment of organ-confined prostate cancer with ablotherm HIFU is very safe. Uh, there have been in the literature some reports of rectal damage and this has almost exclusively been confined to sonoblate uh, patients. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, uh, with ablotherm in the almost 700 patients that we have treated, we have had only three rectal injuries and one of those was in an individual who had had two prior treatments with radiation therapy. As someone who has treated prostate cancer, for almost 30 years and has done radical prostatectomies and referred patients for radiation treatment. I think this is a very safe and effective option that should be considered by all men with organ-confined prostate cancer.